Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hokkaido, and today we're going to be taking care of the Patient Zero campaign's final mission, Patient Zero, and we are going to be taking care of the Silent Assassin suit only run, which will get us Silent Assassin suit only, Silent Assassin suit only, no evidence, and in this case we will also get the straight shot challenge. Now, I really, really struggle with pretty much all of the challenges on this map. Uh, it's a very tricky map because we're locked into one loadout place. We only have one place we can go and get our stash from. It is quite a tricky map. Now, with all that said, we also have to work very, very fast. So the start of this mission, we will be moving very very quickly so basically what we have is a roughly one minute to get to Owen Cage our first target patient zero and eliminate him before he infects anyone else uh, this can be quite frustrating if you don't get it right perfectly so for this mission what we will be doing we'll be bringing with us our silence pistol some coins and a disposable scrambler all of which we'll get quite a lot of use of uh, for this mission also we will get the containment discovery or feat for not allowing anyone else to be infected and we will also get the no rubber challenge discovery or feat for not having to put on a bio suit or a hazmat suit so from the start we're going to skip the intro, bolt straight up the stairs, up onto the ledge here, grab the soda can, make our way up the mountain path towards the two doctors and we're just going to hang here for the two doctors to make their way inside and we're going to follow them very very closely until we get to the door and then we're going to make our way across this little ledge here, it's quite tricky to get onto and we need to move absolutely to breakneck speed so once we're past the window down the drain pipe and back along and in through the bathroom window we're going to select our coins make our way through the door drop a coin and then proceed on to the isolation room selecting uh, our can as we go 47 entering the isolation ward without a hazmat suit is extremely okay. dangerous you'll risk exposing so do not enter the room under any circumstances. That cannot happen, 47. That is Owen Cage. From the looks of him, it's a miracle he's still alive. Target down. That's the end of Owen Cage and hopefully the end of this threat. Now for Klaus Lieblied. So as you saw there, we just opened the door, we knocked out the guard with the can, instantly select our silence pistol and shoot Owen Cage in the head. And again, I must reiterate, do not enter that room while Owen Cage is alive. So as we've got them nicely tucked up, one of these bio guys will now make his way to the bathroom and spot the coin. And we're just gonna shoot along behind him, knock him out and drag him into the toilet cubicle here. And we can now slow down and take ourselves a bit of a breather all of the hard work is now done so what we're going to do here is set up a coin trap so I've placed all three of my coins leading to the corner by the sink there and another member of the biohazmat team will make his way shortly into the room he will spot those coins making his way into the corner and when he goes for that final coin we can bolt out of our little hidey hole and knock him out so he's just going to get the first coin now, he's going to turn, go for the second coin and when he goes for the third coin we can then go and pounce on him. Now we, we do utilise the sinks at some point as well but they are somewhat unreliable on this level. Uh, I will use the sinks in a moment as you'll see. We're going to take this guard and put him in the cubicle with his friend. And we've got two more people we need to lure in, in here. And one more biohazmat guy and one crazy eight guard. 
That's the guard in black, who's just down the end of the corridor there. Now the reason that I haven't been using the tap and I use the coins is because sometimes when you turn the tap on and overflow the sink and throw a coin to get someone's attention, they'll come in and they'll collect the coin and completely ignore the sink. So having the coin trap as a backup is a very good idea. So as you see I've overflown the sink, I've thrown a coin into the corner and the guard's going to come in, collect the coin. Oh, I haven't done the sink challenge, sorry. So we've just thrown the coin in the corner and attracted the guard's attention and took him out. And this time I will use the sink uh, distraction. So we're just going to collect our coin once the guard's in the toilet cubicle. So we're going to place our coin there. And uh, see, I was thinking of just doing the coin trick again. But we're going to do the sink trick. So we're going to overflow the sink, wait by the door. And when the biohazmat guy makes his way over, he's currently just off the screen. You can just see his white dot. Uh, he's just off to the right there. When he makes his way over and stands in the corridor just there, uh, we're going to open the door and throw the coin to distract him. He's going to come in, collect the coin, and hopefully get distracted by the sink. And that's when we'll knock him out. So he's making his way over to us right now. He's going to stop at the junction in the corridor. We're going to open the door, throw the coin, hide back in the toilet cubicle. And he's going to come over, he's going to see the coin, he's going to collect the coin, if he can see it, I don't think he can see it, he can't see the coin, and so far he's ignoring the sink, oh no, he has finally realised that there is a big puddle on the floor, so when he turns off the sink, we're going to pounce up behind him, knock him out, And we're going to hide him in the cupboard in the corner, or the, the cubicle in the corner. So that's everybody in this area now knocked out. Now the reason we've done a lot of that is just to save a bit of time on our escape. We won't have to bypass all of these people. So when we exit the bathroom, we're going to hang close to the wall and round to our right to avoid the lady at the end of the corridor. Through the curtains through the curtains now if uh, our second target isn't in the room we're free to make our way straight through this room sneaky sneaky past the guy and into the control room and in here we're going to use our hacker once again on this door and we're going to use our coin once we open the door to distract the guy in the control room and when he comes to investigate we're going to subdue him around the corner So that's him now unconscious. We're going to hide him in the crate behind us, or the closet behind us, or the locker. Retrieve our coin. And while uh, Dr. Lee Blink is not in the room, we're going to open this door, throw a coin against the wall, hide up against the door, and wait for the biohazmat guy in the next room to come through. And we're going to subdue him around the corner. And we're going to hide him in the closet with his friend. So now our pathway is completely clear. So all we've got to do now is take care of our good friend the doctor here. And um, basically I've just shown you what we're going to do. So we're going to retrieve the coin and we're going to rinse and repeat the exact same thing to get the doctor into this room. That so open the door. Klaus Lieblied, 47. He cannot be allowed to leave the facility. Hey coin against the wall, press yourself up against the door, Hello. subdue him around the corner and drag him away from the door. Retrieving our coin as we go, you don't want to waste coinage. So once he's nice and safely tucked out of anyone's sight, we're going to pull out our silence pistol and we're going to shoot him in the head as well. So there you go, both targets down. Well done, 47. No one else is infected. We've managed to contain the virus. Head for an exit as soon as you can. 
So that will get us the straight shot challenge. Once we've shot Owen uh, Cage in the head, we will get the no, contam no contamination challenge for not letting anyone get in, uh, getting infected. We will get the no rubber challenge for not having to put on a, a biohazmat suit. And obviously, if we can get out of here alive, the silent assassin suit only. So what we're going to do is exit the facility in exactly the same way we came in, uh, which is out through the bathroom window, up the drain pipe, along the ledge, and, and then we're going to make our way up the mountain path. Now there are two guards up at the top end of this path, but they're relatively easy to get past. So once we get to the, the larger rocks right up here, as you can see the two guards are up here. And we're just going to hide Very behind well done, this big Professor. rock. Owen Cage and Klaus Liebliet are both dead, and the Nabazov virus has no chance to spread. I've relayed the information to the board. They offer their congratulations. We'll speak again shortly. So when the guard moves away, and he'll go to the ledge, we're free to just bypass them and exit the mission. So there you go, that's the Silent Assassin suit only run for the Patient Zero campaign. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.